Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to explain how to calculate mean, median, mode, and range for a set of data. So mean, you can think of it as the average. Median is the middle value in a list of values. Mode is the most popular value, or the one that's most common. So let's say we have this set of six values, and let's calculate the mean, or the average. The mean is basically the sum over the count. So the sum of all these numbers added together divided by the count of the numbers. And here we can see there are six numbers, so the count is six. So we add up all the numbers, we would get the sum, and we divide that by the count, which is six, which is 480 over six, and we get a mean of 80. So the mean of these numbers is 80. The median is the middle value. First of all, when you're determining the median, you should always sort the values first. You have to have them in sorted order. So if the count is odd, then you just get the middle value. For example, if there are three values, and they're in sorted order, mind you, it's easy to just pick the middle value. The median of these three is 73, because 73 is the middle one. But in this case, we have an even count. We have six numbers. So we take the average of the middle two. So 76 plus 77 divided by 2 gives us the average of the middle two numbers, which is 76.5. That's our median. The mode is the most popular value. We can see here that there are two 73s, and all the other numbers only have one instance. So 73 is the mode. The range is just the high minus the low. Here we can see the high is 100, the low is 73. We take 100 minus 73 to get a range of 27. So if we put these out on a number line, these numbers all fit between 70 and 100. First we'll plot our points on the line, which is these blue dots. Our mean is 80, our median is 76.5, and the mode is 73. Now all three of these are basically measures to try and find the middle of the data, or the center of our data. We can see that in this case the mode wasn't very effective because it gave us one endpoint rather than the middle. The median gives us the point where there are three numbers to the left and three numbers to the right. And the mean gives us the average, which in this case is shifted from the median to the right, which is offset. People usually, when they're taking a test, they see this guy that got a perfect score on the test pulled the average up. This is what they mean, that the median score was only 76 and a half, but the average or mean is 80. It's much higher than the median because this guy pulled it up. And the range is 27. In my next video, I'll show you how to calculate the standard deviation. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.